Okay. So, I just realized something which is super weird, weird for me. Because I'm not an enemy weave or anything. But I realized that Booster Shane made me my own enemy lock here. So appear apparently I'm the I'm the enemy dude in the <laughs> in the Sega crew right now, so yeah, I guess. <clears throat> Anyways, the first game we're going to play in our enemy block is Spader Moon. So Oops. That was not the correct thing to do. Get my timer up as well. Okay. Look at that beard. Yo, mother brain. Okay, so let's... First off, because I read fluent Japanese, I know that that means easy mode. I don't know what that does, but I always put it on 7. So, for easy mode, we will play with the brown hair girl. If someone can say which Sailor Moon it is, I think think it's Jupiter. Anyways, let's let's go here, just to start the game. <clears throat> Basically, the reason why we use Jupiter in the speed run is because. Because her, she has the strongest, strongest DPS, so to speak. But her DPS is just strong in a small burst, which in easy mode means that she can kill basically any enemy in one combo. So. <clears throat> So, so the reason behind, behind why I started speedrunning this game is, is because it was in the last Mega 16. And, and usually I don't speedrun fighting games. But during the Mega 16 race, I noticed that my split Lit for the goal was a few seconds faster than the world record, so I thought, hey, why not learn, learn the run? So I learned the, the easy, normal and hard speed run, and I would say that hard is probably the most fun speed run of this game. Also, this is basically an <coughs> basically auto-scroller. I can play it one-handed while I'm drinking my coffee. That's that's some good coffee. <clears throat> so yeah, who 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 here grew up? <clears throat> Sorry, <clears throat> I I just ate, so I'm a little bit slimy in the throat. But who grew? Grew up with watching Sailor Moon. I think Sailor Moon started airing when I was like, like ten or eleven here in Sweden. Also, first boss. So we will start off with a special, and we can just use another special. Oh, we couldn't. Sometimes your special doesn't get all the hits. Anyways, that's stage one. But but I I I, I remember it was maybe eleven even like like it it was right at start of puberty. And I I I remember having the biggest crush on Taylor Moon. Also, here we can keep an eye on the on the background. Because those lights, when they turn red, it means enemies from behind will spawn, like now. But 
But... But yeah, Jupiter isn't actually the best character for... Even even for for the easy category, she's not 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 really the best character. But she's she's used because like the other character would be like 10 to 20 seconds faster. But it it, it it requires so much uh, higher gameplay level for such a long long period of time. Also, this is the difference between me me playing it in a marathon and speed running. I wouldn't be jumping back and forth as much as I am currently because I would ex knew, know every spawn perfectly. The <laughs> moon came out with. <laughs> yeah. Well, all of us can't can't be that. That all. You wanna kill this that lady? Think there should be on. Oh, there was another spawn here as well. So yeah, I'm probably not known for the running beaten ups as well. But the two latest uh, latest uh, race multi game races for the Genesis here on on the Sega Crew channel, I ended up speed running both of the beat-em-ups in those those uh, games or a a a a actually all three because I did learn Golden X 3 as well I did I got like a eight and a half minutes run on it offline sadly so I actually actually started in enjoying the speed runs the beat-em-ups Category speed runs more and more, and and I think one of the reasons why I didn't like oh I thought this was another switch I didn't like uh, beaten ups is because you need to memorize all the patterns so much. Yo Elrock, thanks for the good luck. Yeah, Elrock is. It's probably the beat him up god. Well, that's how easy you beat the second boss. Also, let's take a sip of coffee. Okay, this day... This section is actually... Cycle based, because enemies can only spawn when this happens. So they can only spawn on this side, and you can get a double spawn if you get lucky with the damage rolls, which I didn't, so we will not get a double spawn here. So on the uneven cycles we cannot get any double spawn sadly. Also, I'm playing a little bit aggressive because there's no way I'm going to lose six lives. And this is the final guy. Ah, turn around. Where are you? These clown enemies are the worst enemies in the game. 
Oh wait. We're in a factory now. Yeah, we can pick up an extra life. Let's just do that. And yeah, if if uh, if someone wanna look up 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 the next next game I'm running and give me some lore about what I'm actually doing in that game. I've heard heard that, that you really really don't don't wanna watch the anime because it's like really weird. But. If uh, you wanna und und under understand the true story, I recommend reading up on it. And if not, you will get the uh, abridged version by me. This is the most annoying part about this game is when enemies hides hide off screen. Time for boss number three. Also, also as a kid, I can admit to that I thought that that the uh, rose guy was super cool. So this boss can just be super annoying sometimes. Okay, we got a triple hit there. Yeah, lots of flashing lights. Okay, and we move on to stage number four. We are a little bit behind pace here. But hopefully we can make up some time here. I did not get the stupid... Let's just do that. Here, here for some reason they are throwing down these pillars. We could grab some life here. Jump in and do... To the special. Okay, that should be the final group. Yeah, moving up again. Wanna move down like this just to manipulate. There are enemies that has been spawned, but they are so off screen that we can't see them yet. And now we're heading up to fight the fourth boss. This is where the other character would really shine. Because she has the best, uh, best stun luck damage. And yes, this game has stun luck uh, attacks like most good beat beat em ups have. Failed it. Oh, I missed. That was basically the test unlock. Taylor JKL. Yeah, I sh I should have dressed dressed up. Take this. Do 
There's so much health to be gotten in this level. Come here. So, so the reason why I, why I enjoyed this game on the higher difficulties it is, it is because because you need to actually think about how to kill every enemy because they have a lot of health on the higher difficulty. Like, like even even the normal enemies on hard has has like two bars of health. And like those enemies that are supposed to be a little bit harder to hit have like like four bars and bosses can have like like ten bars. And here we are coming up to the hardest boss in the game. I call him the wall. We gotta break break the wall before the floor breaks. I actually don't know if you actually need, need, need to hit the wall. But I feel like it's a dumb thing to try out during a marathon. So here you can see the first boss with I accidentally hit the mox. Here, we just stun lock him and kill him. Okay, time for the final stage. Also, we want to pick up this one for extended health bar. There are a few of those throughout the run. But that's... I think you pick up two in an optimal run. Or, or you can pick up two without losing time basically. So this is the stage where we just go left and right. This is probably my favorite stage. I love love the music. And I love love the love the atmosphere yes, of of the level. I didn't did not want to hit him like that. Okay. How we want to kill these are... I think there's a big dude coming in. Yeah, there. Okay, so you want to kick him once, and then you want to kill him. Okay, we're soon done with the game. Basically this is like a typical enemy gauntlet. You fight each of the enemies you have fought throughout the game. A few of each, getting gradually harder.
do that though. Oh, that didn't kill him. Well, we can use this power. Which I never use. But sometimes we gotta use use the bad attacks as well. And now we should just have the clowns left, I believe. Here is the reason why they are so annoying. Okay, final boss time. We fight someone. Is is that the guy brainwashed or something? So we just unlock him to our best ability and kill him. And now we fight the final boss. There is one move we do not want her to do. And she didn't get to do it. And time is when you can't move anymore. So 20 minutes and 12 seconds. A little bit overestimate, but I feel like that was a good showing of the game. And and we got the OG, OG master behind uh, Mamona Hunter. If it wasn't for him, I would never have played this game. Mother brain.